The coroner in one of Colorado's mountain communities is not happy with the way the state is classifying cases of some people who have died there. Our Mountain Newsroom reporter Jamie Leary live in Grant County. Jamie, this dispute involves COVID-related deaths. It does, and it's common for the state to collect death data before death certificates are finalized because it's faster that way. That can take up two weeks, so epidemiologists can get a faster, clearer picture of how COVID is impacting the population. That includes researching data where COVID played an indirect result on the death. But sometimes, in some few cases, it doesn't make sense to connect COVID. For instance, a fatal car crash. In this case, a Grand County coroner says clearly it was gunshot wounds. Autopsies are done here. I've been doing this job for 33 years. It's the first time coroner Brenda Bach has felt so frustrated by a cause of death. These two people had tested positive for COVID, um, but that's not what killed them. The gunshot wound is what killed them. I had not even finished my investigation. When the state listed the gunshot victims as dying with COVID, the state classifies COVID deaths in two ways. A death due to COVID, where it was the underlying cause, the second is a death with COVID, where there was a positive test, but it wasn't listed as a cause of death. Colorado's reporting 4,156 COVID deaths. Uh, they say actually deaths among cases. And then they show 3,230 deaths due to COVID. And so they're differentiating that, but I think they can maybe go a little further, and I think the policy could be changed. No matter the classification, it goes towards a county's COVID death count. Would you want to go to a county that had really high death rates of COVID? I wouldn't. For rural communities, even two deaths can hurt perception. If they could let the coroners weigh in, just take a little bit of time and make that determination early on, you don't have those big swings in numbers that might really alarm our population. I realize, yes, you're trying to keep count of the numbers, but you've got to do it right. And these people did not die of COVID. She reached out to the state a week ago and has yet to hear back. She hopes her story influences others to speak up so that it can change the way that data is collected and reported. Live in Kremlin, Jamie Leary, CBS4 Mountain Newsroom.